Hello everyone. My name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's tutorial, we will be learning what is a milestone and how to add a milestone in TestRail. So TestRail as you all know, it's a, you know, web-based software uh, that is used for test management. Okay, coming to milestone. So if you talk about the literal meaning of milestone, so milestone is nothing but a significant stage or an event in the development of something. So we can say that milestone is something, some target that you want to achieve. So that target can be a software release or it can be a build release or something that you want to achieve that you want to set a target for that is called a milestone. So in test rail, you can define milestones for your projects. Okay. So as you all can read, uh, add project milestones such as software releases to test trail to manage and track multiple test runs for a single milestone. Okay, so you can associate multiple uh, test runs to a single milestone. And uh, let us see how we can create a milestone in test trail. Uh, we go to the dashboard. Uh, so this is the option as you all can see milestones. Click on this milestones. Okay, so it says that uh, this project does not have any milestones yet. Which project? That is the name of the project. Okay, if you want to change the project, you can uh, return to the dashboard and select the particular project. So as of now, we don't have any milestones uh, defined here for this project. So uh, we can create a milestone. This is the button. Just click on this button, add milestone. Okay. So these details uh, you have to fill for uh, creating a milestone. You can give a name to a milestone uh, like software release one or you know, like M1, milestone one. Uh, next one is the references. So references as a name itself says uh, is something related to the project or it can be some requirements or it can be the user stories or it can be the functional documents or you know any kind of important documents related to the project so in test rail uh, there can be different types of references uh, let's see like what all references can be so okay so references can be the issue and defect tracking tools for example, uh, you want to, uh, suppose you're using Jira for uh, logging the defects. So you can give a reference URL or a reference ID here or the defect ID in the references section. Next one we have is the wiki software. So wiki software is nothing but documents about the project. If you have any documents related to your project, you can provide the references in uh, this references uh, section. Then you have uh, the requirement management tools, like as I said, uh, like Jira for user stories. So normally if you talk about agile uh, development, so we have user stories in Jira. So if you want to refer any of those stories into this test trail project, you can provide it in the references section and Word, Excel or other tools like uh, suppose you are managing your uh, requirements or any other information in the Word document or in the Excel document. So those references you can provide here. Here means here. So this is the references. So uh, just to give an example, we can just provide here like requirement one. So this is the release. I mean, uh, the milestone name. This is the reference we have given. Coming to next one is the parent. So if uh, your milestone is a sub part of another milestone, so you can give a parent out here. So as of now, we don't have any parent. Okay. So see the parent milestone for this milestone or the sub milestones. So that depends if you have if your project is very big you can break it down into different milestones and then you can uh, create some parent ones and then you can create the child ones and then you can do a linking so similarly you can give here uh, the parent milestone if you have if you don't have that's fine coming to next one we have the description so description of the milestone what you want to achieve through this milestone what are the details uh, like uh, uh, what all things what all uh, kinds of uh, say testing you will be doing so each and every detail of the description related to this particular milestone you can give it out here okay so see the, there are several options as well available here like you can add a table to this text field uh, if you want to add an image you can add 
uh, to this description as well so that are uh, different options they have given you along with the description coming to next one we have the start date so when uh, will be this milestone starting so for example i select as uh, 15th of october so the expected or the scheduled start date of this milestone that is like for upcoming and not yet active milestones okay so uh, like when your milestone will start normal start date and uh, next one we have is the end date so what uh, when will be your uh, milestone uh, finishing so the expected due date or the end date of this milestone say for example i will take as 31st of october so 15th will be the start date and uh, 31st october will be the end date so this is the uh, defined date ranges for your milestone okay okay so next one we have the checkbox so if you want to associate any tests and test cases they can only be assigned to the active milestones so if you click on here so that means the milestone is completed so you cannot associate any of the test runs so we will uncheck it out here because in the later tutorials we'll be creating test cases we'll be seeing how we can create a test suit and test cases and we will be uh, assigning those test cases or linking those test cases to this milestone got it okay so all the fields are pretty much we have filled it out just click on add milestone and yes you got a success message successfully added the new milestone okay so this is uh, like the upcoming milestone where the dates uh, or like all the details of this milestone it is zero percent that is the progress bar that is being shown out here so suppose you want to start this milestone as of now we have given the date as 15th so that is a later date for example you want to start this milestone today itself so click on it here go here and change the date to 10th and as soon as you click on start milestone see the milestone has started that is the due date and it has populated under the open category so you can edit the milestone you can add another milestone as per your like project convenience so these are the basic steps uh, you can uh, follow to create a milestone as of now it does not have any active test runs we will be seeing how to uh, link the test runs to the milestones okay so i hope it is uh, clear to you all and if you want to add another milestone just uh, same process you can follow add milestone and then again you can give the names and that's it so just fill it out and your milestone is created fine okay so uh, that is all for today's tutorial uh, creation of the milestone and what is a milestone how we can add milestone I hope you all understood and uh, thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the video, do subscribe my channel and keep sharing knowledge. Thank you. Bye-bye.